when Democratic Rep. Sir Jasmine Crockett posed her question to Secret Service Director Kimberly Cheat about implementing bias training within the Secret Service. She touched on a critical issue. But, you know, I, I want to stick here for, for just a second, because earlier you had a conversation in which there was a discussion about training. And I, I want to talk about training and I want to talk about the fact that there's been a little bit of dancing around as it relates to this being a suspicious person and this being a situation that was perceived to be a threat. And it seems as if there's a different analysis that takes place. One of my questions has to do with if you have any bias training that your officers undergo. And the reason that I ask that, because as a civil rights lawyer, I have learned so many times in having to deal with law enforcement that there usually is not a perception of a threat when it is a young white male, even if they are carrying a long gun. Yet a lot of times, at least in this country, when it comes to law enforcement, there is a perceived threat just by somebody having a little bit more melanin in their skin. So I'm curious to know, because a lot of times, one of the things that we have consistently pushed for on my side of things, and when I say my side, is once we are looking at a tragedy in which law enforcement made an error, um, is the bias training and whether or not our officers are getting it. So I'm curious to know, in some of the training that you talk about that is part of your budget, has bias training been part of that? Yes, it is. Okay, thank you. The necessity of strict education for law enforcement to ensure effective and unbiased policing. This approach emphasizes the overarching importance of law and order. Crockett's inquiry about bias education underscores her commitment to a justice system where every individual is treated with fairness, reflecting hyper-progressive values. Her question highlights the importance of public accountability and transparency, principles that resonate deeply with many citizens. However, the push for bias education in law enforcement can be seen through different lenses. While some view diversity, inclusion, and equity measures as essential for protecting various political beliefs and promoting unity, others fear these initiatives might foster division and undermine public trust. The public values individual responsibility highly, and in this light, questions about bias education reflect the necessity for law enforcement officers to carry out their duties with a strong sense of personal accountability.